All right, folks, this is Vishal from Equity Guru, and welcome to Chart Attack, where we look at some of the best technical setups in the markets. And right now, we're going to be talking about the U.S. stock markets. I guess you could even say the global stock markets, just the way things are nowadays. Uh, but are we going to crash? Are we going to be seeing a buy the dip moment? Uh, are we going to be making new record highs? If you do follow my work on Equity Guru, our market moment, our readers were advised that, hey, with this breakout here back on September 17th and then this retest of the trend line on the 23rd, the 24th, and then uh, the 27th, so actually beginning of this week, we warned about this retest and this, well, this breakdown in the retest and how we could see further sell-off. Um, I have a support area right here at around 42.50. And, and again, folks, these are support zones. It's not just one number. Um, and we are seeing some buying actually really close to that area. So perhaps we can even move my support up further right up here. And you can see buyers have stepped in. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be now watching to see if we can retake the 4485 zone here on the S&P 500. Uh, if we can climb back and cross over the trend line that was broken and you know you guys can see clearly the shift from an uptrend to a downtrend and now the question is do we continue to make more downtrends uh, or more lower highs on the way lower and i'll just quickly show you guys the the nasdaq where it's at uh pretty big support zone um was broken below but we did not climb back above it so i want to watch to see if that happens next week i think a close back above fifteen thousand is what gets people a bit more um feeling safe i guess right comfortable the dow jones uh take a look at that candle and that was what we were expecting because we were at a major support area uh yesterday and we didn't really get a clean and strong close below just had a feeling today was going to be a nice buy the dip moment and we did have that and we will find out if this is just a dead cat bounce next week or if uh, people continue to buy the dips and we go up higher and higher. A few things to watch for for the markets, right? So, you know, we, we take a look at the U.S. dollar. We take a look at bonds. Um, U.S. dollar, I just want to quickly show you guys this weekly chart, which we covered in a previous chart attack video a few weeks ago or maybe a few months ago. And we warned about this breakout and, ooh, okay, you know, the weekly candle, if it closes like that, I, I think that's uh, something to be worried about. Is the dollar rising because of, you know, the Fed's taper tantrum or sorry, not taper tantrum, but promise to taper. And then are the markets dropping because they believe that with that taper, there's going to be a taper tantrum. Right. So we got to keep that in in, um, in our minds. Or is the dollar rising because of a risk off safety, safe haven move. Right. And for that, we have to look at what's going around in the world. Uh, we're still talking China. You know, we're talking Evergrande. Uh, and the bond payments, that's still ongoing. Sticking with China, we still have the uh, energy crisis, right? There's an energy crisis in China. Apparently, supply chains are getting impacted, uh, not just in China, but also in the UK and parts of Europe. And I'll show you the chart of natural gas if I can find it. There we go. There's natural gas uh, hitting highs that we haven't seen since 2014, um, you know, especially when cold weather is coming uh, sooner. So... Keep, keep those things, you know, in, in your mind. There's a lot of risk there as well. Of course, the pandemic uh, headlines, but I, I don't really think that's impacting the markets too much now. And then the big one, and we got some of it, you know, resolved this week. There was going to be a government shutdown. That's been uh, averted. But now it's about the debt ceiling. And if you've been listening to Janet Yellen and Fed Powell uh, testify to Congress, um, you know, yelling, sort of being spooking the markets and saying, hey, get this, get your stuff together, man. We got to get this solved because if we don't pass some sort of bill by uh, mid-October, uh, the government is broke and we can't pay off the Social Security. We can't pay off pensions. We can't uh, uh, pay our interest payments on our bonds uh, and the markets will crash. Right. That's essentially what she said. Uh, so basically now it's all about getting this bill passed, uh, getting a deal on infrastructure and social spending spill, uh, bills. Uh, the reason why more people are talking about this nowadays is because the Democrats own you know, the, the Senate and the House. So you would assume all of this would have been resolved quite quickly. But there is some infighting between uh, the Democrats. They can't really agree 
on what they want to spend their money on. Um, and that's why I think it's a, a bit more of a serious issue. And we'll, we'll keep an eye on this, right? Because I think if this passes, maybe a lot of uh, risk is taken away from the markets and uh, buyers step back in. But technically, folks, the downtrend is still uh, intact, right? We could still be making new lower highs. And I just want to see that trend line be taken out above 44.85. Maybe something that not many of you want to hear because it means we have to wait a little bit for that retest. Uh, but again, folks, you know, we, we watch these overall trends and sometimes it takes days or even weeks for our levels to be hit and taken out. But that's it for me, folks. This one's been a bit longer, I know, but I think it's a serious discussion and a serious topic and serious chart to take a look at. Are you guys bearish markets or are you bullish? Are, is this a buy the dip or is this the big, big crash? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, you know, be sure to follow us on all our social media links and uh, take a look at my market moment. Or if you're not part of our Discord channel where we talk about markets pretty much every day, uh, be sure to join us over on that. And if there are any other charts that you want me to focus on or analyze, uh, be it cryptos or a, a particular stock or, or bonds, whatever it is, let me know the comment below in the comments below and I'll be sure to cover it in the next chart attack. I'll see you guys in the next one.